All right, so first and foremost, welcome to the Sony conference. They're in a new venue for the first time in forever. Yeah, they are. I don't know how comfortable I am with this. And on time. That gets my Becky boner big. Who's, who's this guy? Squab McHair shirt. Is he a composer? Are they gonna have live composing? Holy shit, they have a live orchestra. They're treating it like an actual stage oh production. God. He's composer McGood looking. <laughs> yeah. So in all my time talking about how important stage shows are and how much I miss Nintendo being on stage and one of my favorite moments from E3 and Nintendo is the Zelda orchestra yeah. and everything. Sony is treating this like a fucking show. Yeah. They have a choir! <laughs> or a conductor, I'm sorry, I'm tired! He's a conductor. You guys think this is God of War? Makes sense. Yeah. Because it ain't Skyrim. I'm excited to show the guys something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cool. Holy fuck. That ain't no fiddly little thing. This is a full blown fucking orchestra. Yeah, totally. Well, not a full orchestra. It's like a half one. Like a half one. Oh, it's pretty big. A full one is yeah. huge. Yeah. It's got more pieces than Video Games Awesome Live. I mean, Video Games Live. Uh, it turns out to be Fractured Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible <laughs> if it was so Park. But we've been to Video Games Live and that and their orchestra is smaller than this. Yeah, it was. I wonder who the players are, like if what, if it's a known. Yeah. The baritone singers are friggin' awesome. And we went to the Zelda Symphony as well, and it was smaller. See, this is the sort of thing that a non-gamer looks in upon and like for whatever reason they see a piece of this and they're like wow gamers take this shit serious huh <laughs> like that type of thing if yeah. you look at a, the, the, the microsoft conference as an as an outsider i'd be like yeah that's pretty much what i expected from video games it's like a bunch of video games but this is fucking awesome wow this shit's a big deal isn't it son <laughs> The presentation is fucking awesome. Somebody not like this? Just doesn't get why it's incredible. You've seen the rest of the conferences. Just Dance 2017 didn't have a good presentation as well. It's much more awesome to not do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's different, it's unique, it's powerful, it's fun. It'd be, could you imagine how much more powerful if it was a song everybody recognized? Yeah. That would just be off the charts. Yeah. Could you imagine if Nintendo started this, like their conference like this, with a, any oh. Nintendo song? She's got a great voice, man. Yeah, that's pretty epic.
fucking awesome. Yeah. I love orchestras too. That actually plays every time you boot up a Neo, a PlayStation <laughs> Neo, <laughs> and, you and you can't, can't skip, skip it. it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, they're showing something. What do they got? <gasps> that dome hammer doesn't scare me. Oh, oh no! Boy. Boy. This feels like Game of Thrones if I was to guess what I'm like what world I'm looking at right now. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like Your God of War. Life. It belongs to you now. What for? A test. She taught you to hunt, yes? Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Fuck! Great Jones is an old man! And he has a son again! You are hunting deer. Which way? Uh, hunt. You tell me. South? Is that a question? South. I think God of War is a new game. Yeah. It's a new kind of game. They are reinventing God of War, it looks like. This is just not at all what the game used to be. Tracks! They're fresh! This way! Shh! Kid! Something! Slow down, boy. <laughs> he totally Sorry. talks like Kratos. You must think. Do not simply react. Well, be tall and plan. It's just I'm not used to hunting. I can't believe we're looking at old Kratos, bearded Kratos. Hold! What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire! Only fire! <laughs> When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Only fire when you know its head will come off. Hmm. Find hmm? it. I think it's gone. Oh. Papa, why do you have white skin? It's the ashes of my old family. You are not ready. Stay back. Wow. It's a brand new game. Take note, Microsoft. Don't leave the game footage. Just do whatever the fuck they're doing here. I'm off about the forest. Keep moving. You know, if you give me my bow, I can help you fight. I'm ready. You have yet to prove that. Oh shit, did we tweet? I need a chance. You had a chance. Better do it now. Then find that deer. We'll stay live now. Okay. Each pop becomes its, its own orchestra. <laughs> or at least just <laughs> one retired orchestra. Need <gasps> to wait until. Here's your chance. Show me already. <laughs> oh, dude, this is not the acid test. <laughs> oh, no. That massive bug was the acid test. Let's go back to deer for a bit. <laughs> This looks so oh, fucking ow. awesome. He just wants you to pay the toll, Kratos. Yeah, dude. You've been neighbors for years. <laughs> you know the routine by now. Shoot it. Oh, my God. 
That is a cool boss design. Yeah, it is. It really is. Spartan Rage is available. Press L3 and R3 to poke out eyes. <laughs> oh, you made him mad. <laughs> Oh, you are the shittiest son. <laughs> Dad, I want to be a bard. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I... Your deer is getting away. Yes, sir. Oh, God, did I? Oh, God, I'm <laughs> so sorry. Do you want me to play you something on my loop? <laughs> my dad was the strongest dad. He defeated all the things I saw. <laughs> I shot him in the arrow with a shoulder arrow thing. But he was so forgiving I to me. And you froze when I told you to kill it. I know, but you're staring right at me. Him. I thought your mother taught you to hunt. She did. What do you think his but mother is? She was did that part. Maybe it's time for you to learn. Father, look! Athena? We didn't see the end of the last game. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. Kid, you're, I can already tell you're gonna fuck it up, stop! Target. Clear your mind. Yeah. Exhale and release. My god! Good. Alright, I thought he was gonna fuck it up. How did they just inject real emotion into God of War? Yeah. I... What is this, Naughty Dog makes no God of War now? No, do it, Kratos. Now, you are ready. A new beginning. He's going to teach you to hunt down gods. Get fucking ready, kid. Dragons in God of War? Is dragons even a fucking Mytholo mythological like creature from Roman because it's all Roman based right Roman mythology not Greek either way I don't think either had dragons did it Nordic and yeah Norse so they've switched to Norse so now God of War stage. like you're not Sean safe Layden. if you're not within his universe now he's jumping mythologies to kill other gods wow Sweet Norse now he's gonna go to Valhalla and just beat the shit out of Odin oh, yeah the guy did say Valhalla 
that the big door. <laughs> well, that's one hell of a way to open up. Yeah. Good evening. It's really choppy Good on evening, the stream. Let's see if their source is better. What a way to start the show, huh? Yeah. The live demo. Of yeah. The don't get big on yourself. Big right now, deal. A special thank you and a. Just give me a second, guys. I just want to make sure because this is really chop. B and Sony doesn't have a thing. Never mind. I'm sorry. It's just so choppy on Twitch. Good night with this awesome orchestra, and they'll be performing all evening. So that's that's really exciting for all of us. Thanks to everybody. It's PlayStation. Uh, Do you guys find it's better quality over there? Further, though, um, I think it's important that maybe somebody take can go test to, it for me. Uh, to address the the heartbreaking tragedy of Orlando this past weekend, a horrific event like that, carried out by a madman, really underscores our need for for greater love, tolerance, and respect of people of all kinds. On behalf of the PlayStation community, I just want to say that our thoughts are with uh, the victims and the families in the community of Orlando. Uh, we stand four square with them, and we hope that in this week of perhaps our gaming celebrations, within the, the diversity of our gaming community, we can find some strength, some comfort, and some solace. The reason they're the talking about it, Meg, stands four square is because it's really friends, hard to... Fans in the LGBT community as well. Break the ice into uh, a topic like video games without it being all, like, uh, yeah, this is hanging over our heads, and we know. I totally respect them for... You gotta kinda address yeah. it. Yeah. Just to say, we're not here celebrating without knowing that that's bullshit. All that means, uh, we're proud to be a part of a vast an expansive team of storytellers, artists, engineers, musicians, yeah, it had just happened, and programmers so. and actors. The massive and sometimes, sometimes tiny teams who tirelessly create works of art that we find ourselves getting lost in. <coughs> and that is what tonight is all about. For the next hour, we will, we hope to, astound you with a lineup of games that are both dazzling and transformative. I wish he was in a tux. With a few surprises along the way. Mm, that'd be nice. I think that would so, really add to the feeling. Without further ado, feeling. Yeah. I'm proud to take you on this journey to some of the great games coming out on PlayStation 4. Please enjoy the show. Oh my god. There is a moth in our studio. <laughs> I don't know this name. What's Ben? Why are they Someone cheering? I don't know the name. Once, if I remembered how it all went down, as if it happened so long ago that anyone could forget. So yeah, I remember. I remember when our homes and our towns turned into graveyards. When the wilderness became our only hope for survival. I remember when the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running, I got you. when the turbines shut down, and the world went dark. I remember when they put up the razor wire, like it was gonna stop anything. And the feds ran out of body bags. Dig, dig, dig. Bro, bro. And some of us sort of lost our minds. I think it's dead. Some lost more than that. Much more. I remember when we lived by a code, when brotherhood meant something, and living meant more than surviving. Goddamn liar! So yeah, I remember how it all went down. Working. Working. Uh, I don't give a damn about any of that. You know what I remember most? Riding the open road. The smell of your hair. The touch of your skin. I remember you. But those days are gone. Now I'm a drifter. A bounty hunter. A mercenary. And for me, the broken road is all that's left. 
but I'll always remember. Huh. New IP. I got actual tingles there yeah, when it man. went to the romantic part. It's cute. You guys said Siphon Filter was the studio that they showed at the beginning, had done Siphon Filter? Because I haven't, I don't know the name. That was interesting. Any other info or are we just moving on? Looks like we're moving on. That was pretty beautiful. Yeah. I just hope it's not zombies, honestly. Like, it might not be. They didn't show zombies, they no, didn't they say. Did. What the fuck? Is this the last guardian? It's got a last guardian feel to it. Even though we've never seen Woo! it's last guardian. Yeah! Still coming. Doggy kitty birdie thing. He's not the last! They fucking lied! This is a bigger travesty than Ubisoft showing us Watch Dogs graphics. False advertising He's not since the day last one. one. Maybe that was a memory. He can't fly. <laughs> release my day. Birthday. Cool. Maybe the boy's the guardian? Oh! Holy fuck. Whoa. I never even thought Shit. of that. <laughs> we don't know who's guarding what. Oh my god. Hey, that's the symbol for the guys who make kill zone, right? Or Oh. Or no, it's this thing. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, it is the kill zone guys, because they're they're using the same engine that our audience told us. Or no, they're It is kill zone, yeah. So some gameplay, some more gameplay of this. Turn back! Corrupted machines in the valley! I have to cross. I'm headed for the border. Then may the goddess show mercy. The goddess? Yeah. Compression's gonna make it pretty impossible to figure out exactly what we're seeing. Yeah. But it, outside of the compression, it looks great. Show walkers. Let's have a look. He's gonna kill a bunch of more innocent robot animals. <laughs> He's so excited, he found something. I should focus again. Whoa. Got some weak spots, but they're tough. Risky, but I need the components. He just got it. Yeah. Worst day. Surprised uh -oh. the shield went down so easy. Yeah. You guys need to with shields, yo. But you didn't even, did she take the component? Yeah, she did. How do you slide uphill? <laughs> got a little Nathan Drake in you? Two explosive traps coming right up. I like the way she runs, like her mannerisms. Watch out! It's corrupted! Thank you, fair you warrioress. 
You may now take my hand in marriage for saving me. Corrupt and attack the village. I'm yes. the fairest in the village. Worse. A demon. What do you mean, a demon? It scuttled from the forest. Drove a group of watchers mad. How did it do that? I saw, but I did not understand. Oh, goddess, protect us! Keep running from so this. Is, I think the far. wheels something we didn't know. Come with me. Yeah, that's or the me. demon will kill you. I don't believe in demons, and I don't run when lives are at stake. Get out of here. <laughs> Baby. You're cooler Baby. than me! <laughs> uh oh. We also didn't know there was crafting in it. Yeah. The village. We did because I'll of the way she got components. Oh yeah, that's true. I Unless guess. I get a mount. Broadheads. If I override one of those, that should do. What an insane departure from their previous games. Yeah. Kill zone guys. There's those things. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, it's definitely scripted. This isn't real gameplay. <laughs> they're demoing... I mean, it is real gameplay, but they definitely have it planned out how they're going to do it. Yeah. What's that noise? What gameplay on stage isn't scripted? It's corrupting the Watcher. Vulnerable to fire. Here we go! Man, her movements are so realistic. Like, they did a really good job of that. That was close. She doesn't have a health bar or anything. Jesus! So even though this is a game they've already shown and we've even seen a little bit of gameplay before and it is taking a long time on stage, I'm still so interested because it's so fresh. Yeah. It's such a different game. I get the weak spot. Oh, she's attacking into the ground. And I don't think this is a boss. I think this is just a normal creature and this is just how you have to go about taking it out. Huh? Oh my god, this thing is strong. Until you know it's a shoot. 
I, I'm hoping the game has just a ton this machine of machines. Looks ancient. And that each one has a sequence in which you must take Where it out efficiently, from? like That'd that. Be cool. And you probably get really good at doing it. Yeah. Like, you know exactly how to go about every creature. It kind of does seem like a bit like Witcher, doesn't it? The gameplay. And the way the camera moves, it's like Robo Witcher. <laughs> Except the gameplay, like the movements, her movements look so much more fluid than, uh... Oh, yeah. It looks like there are other NPCs, towns, and classes and stuff. ...on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. But the hostage shaker could be the family's uh, entry. He had a thing in his head. Detroit? This might be Detroit. He, he had just like said a, Detroit. Oh, he did? Okay, something, then it something is Detroit. Detroit. Please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Alright, ma'am. We need you to go. Can't, you can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Hi, Daniel. My name is Connor. There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. It's a detective game? Come on, Twitch. Are you armed? No. I have a gun. Drop it! Touch him and I kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive! Tell that helicopter to get out of here! It's up to you how the story ends! Oh man! A David Cage game. I trust you. But you can't kill him because... You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. My name is Connor. This is our story. Is that Jensen or from Heavy Rain? That PI guy? Oh, I he wonder. seems kind of like him. Jaden? Jaden. Oh my god, that looks good. Detroit becomes Just don't human. let Cage come out. Don't let him talk. Yeah. Just let his work speak for himself. It don't let sound Cage like talk. It. It's gonna be VR or this is VR. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. That looked good. That looked fresh. Yeah, dude, that looked really, really good. I'm into it. I wanna know when. We didn't get a date. 
Oh, it'll be a ways, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Phone! <laughs> That's what you do in the phone. So far, everything they've shown has just been rapid fire. I know, I know. They haven't even had anybody come out and talk marketing if you don't shit. Get out of there, they will kill you. Get out now. This is way too good of graphics for something I expect to be on VR. Especially on a console. Yeah. I wonder why it's uh, interlaced. I wonder if that was a decision or if it's just because of the way that the trailer was brought over the feed. Mm -hmm. Are you scared? Nope. Don't you do that. <laughs> I just thought I'd want to sit closer. These graphics are way better than I expected anything on this generation, especially on a console to look. Are you guys with me on this? Like, what the I'm fuck? I'm with you on this. I am skeptical. I am skeptical too, because anything we've seen to date for any VR game, PC or otherwise, has almost always been stylistic. Yeah, it's got almost PT level graphics. Oh, what's in the pot? What's in the pot? <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be good. <laughs> That's your dinner. Intestines. <laughs> Somebody yelled yeah in the crowd. Well, whoever he is, he doesn't seem interested in you, honey, so just leave. <laughs> oh, this isn't even gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. I bet that piano is super untuned. You should play it, it'll be creepy. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, God damn it. Our I'm looking at it like Andre. Okay. What the fuck? That guy looked like Alan Wake. I don't think it is. I would be so scared if I were there right now. Oh, fuck. This is some creepy shit. <laughs> oh! Oh! Everybody was guessing like Silent Hill. What? <laughs> I guess we're playing a demo after this. But we don't have VR. How can that, with that graphics, how can that be? I don't know. VR. I don't know. And January 24th, 2017. I want to believe. I want to believe. Oh my god, that was really good. So just like last year, halfway in and they've already won again. It's amazing. Because of what they got on their stage. What the fuck, in addition, Sony? In addition to the PS4 console experience, <sighs> the full Resident Evil 7 will be playable from beginning to end with PlayStation VR. I don't believe when it. When it releases on January 24th. 2016 is a seminal moment in virtual reality. The time has finally come for everyone to enjoy VR in their own homes. And at PlayStation, we have a combination of the necessary processing and graphics power already built inside 40 million PS4s that have been sold worldwide. We... Thank you for that. 
Yeah, what if we don't have the we art? Have can the we have the You can do it without it. Okay. We're about to play a demo without it. Fidelity. We have the production expertise to create a headset that is designed for the gamer. And because PlayStation 4 is a fixed platform, developers can fine tune their games for the system to deliver the same transformative experience. That could be why it looks like that. If this is a PlayStation oh. exclusive. I'm happy to announce here that on October 13th, PlayStation VR will make its debut in the United States. I need one. I you didn't get a pre-order. SOL, yo. And it's Currently, so inexpensive. More than 50 games will be available from launch until the end of this year. 50 games between now and the end of this that year. That includes some of the biggest franchises, we'll along with a lot brand new titles that will be born on PSVR. We invite those here tonight, after the experience, and after this experience, to come with us next door to the arena post reception, where we'll be able to have some PSVR kiosks set up so you can all have a go. Now, I'd like to showcase a few PlayStation VR titles, starting with PlayStation exclusives developed by our own worldwide studios. Please watch. So, in house. PlayStation exclusive VR games now. Hmm. Who? What is Imbolse Gear God. made? Google it for me, please, guys. This is incredible. Watch your suit on those rocks. We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. Come on. We have to keep moving. Sony is, think is making it pretty clear that you're gonna have good graphics with VR here. Analyzing surroundings. Unknown environment. Studio design. Their new v studio for uh, VR. Location. Thanks, guys. Wait. What the hell is that? It's not doing a very good job, whatever it is. You can't see <laughs> us. Do you copy? Do you see that? Diva. 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 Wait, DVDA. Oh shit! Like the graphics aren't like the height of pinnacle of Pilgrim, this can generation, you read me? This but. Is Dr. They're better than a shitload of stuff that's been shown that isn't VR, yeah. even, yeah, 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 from some yeah. companies. That looks interesting. Farpoint. I'm not writing home about that one, but like that did look like an interesting experience, especially if it's VR. I want to shoot that spider in the vagina mouth. <laughs> they got oh, Star Wars. Oh, VR. Oh, so Ubisoft showed Star Trek VR, and now we have Star Wars VR. Which one wins? Clear to engage. Pew 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 pew. You get to play as R2 in the back. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's Battlefront. Uh, X-Wing VR mission, like an add-on or its own standalone game, I wonder. I wonder if it'll be DLC if you only already own the game, or if it's just gonna be like a title tied to it. And that's it. those fucking people? Oh, all those people. How do you yeah. feel when you put on that mask? FUCK YOU! Yeah! Yeah! Are you from the world? Or do you want the world to hide away from you? <laughs> Maybe you feel Invincible. More than just a man. Or maybe you're just like me. You see that life is not. We're still talking about VR. Joke, and so you choose a face Are to we? match. But what happens when we become what we pretend to be? When an illusion becomes the new reality? Does it even matter? After all. If you find a mask that fits, you never need to take it off. <laughs> <It's totally VR. laughs> They're only teasing us. Batman Arkham VR? What, the game in VR? 
What the fuck? And it's coming it's in October. It's a launch title for. <laughs> Where are the cowl? Sony is blowing everybody out of the water again. What the it's fuck? Big hunt. Just won't quit. I think we're still on VR. I have the music. Uh, is it Chocobo music? Yeah. Are they gonna introduce like another small experience within games, like VR experiences within already big games? Like, or have we moved on from VR? It's hard to tell. Cause this doesn't look VR, right? Like this. Is... No. We've moved on. <laughs> this is the best. Final Fantasy trailer I've seen yet. <laughs> it's better than boys riding in cars. Yeah. So that was just 30th. a stinger. That was just a, a sizzle trailer. Yeah. No, it's still VR. That ought to do her. This shouldn't take long. <laughs> when you see cleavage, don't you just want to do that? <laughs> no. Hit it. But now I do. <laughs> It's VR! What are we- What is- What? <laughs> what? what? It's like is it in a mini game within the game? Is it its own mode? Or can you just go into VR anytime you want? In this game? And why is the person playing sucking so bad? <laughs> So it's like, I think these are just like little add-on experiences that use the game assets just... But once again, they're showing this game's graphics with VR. Yeah. They're saying no compromise is what they're basically telling everybody. No compromise. Yeah, let's see. This generation graphics with VR. How are they doing it? Yeah, it's a separate mode, but to me, that all looked like all the gameplay I've seen from Final Fantasy so far looked just as good. So that's why I'm saying. Enemy surging in multiple sectors, LT. They're taking ground. Let's keep this on a tight loop and get back out there, Reyes. Reyes. Borderlands. Oh. Three. Captain on the bridge. Get us underway, Salt. Right away, sir. Captain has a con. Mass Raven effect. one yeah. docking. You're touching down now, ma'am. Good. Stage to time, one minute. Roger that. There's space. Dead space. Who's Reyes? Why do I know yeah, the name? Yeah, I know the We've name We've got Reyes. four new hotspots on radar, sir. In Tales of the Borderlands, Check. I thought the, the guy's name was Reyes. Sir. This is definitely What's not target, Borderlands. Reyes? Stand by for objective. Is that even his name? We've got a set depth destroyer in lunar orbit. We'll coordinate a takedown with Tigris. Let's mount up, Lieutenant. Maybe this is new IP. Your jackal's up on bay three, Captain. Thanks, Chief. You guys think it's Call of Duty? Oh, because Call of Duty did say in space, so. Oh, right. Captain? Ethan's already in back, sir. <laughs> You said, Ethan? Good to go, sir. Been waiting here for three hours, sir. <laughs> Solar wind should be steady. Good hunt, Cap. Thanks, AT. Do I just pee in the tube, or? Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, um, this for his coffee. Roger, man. Hydraulic strong, nozzle's good. Let's hit it. We still haven't broken segment from VR, making you think we're still. Yeah, they're saying it too. Like, I feel like if we were done looking at VR titles, he would have said, "Okay, that was VR." Yeah. Roger, we're lit. Launch in three, two. And I am hard to tell past the compression, but I still feel like I'm looking at this generation's Call of Duty in VR with no compromises. Yeah. On my way, hang in there. 
I got this. Weapons away. And he They're even said as he intro this, he said, because we are a console, developers can can uh, be efficient. And maybe that's what he's saying. They can squeeze power out of our system where on Actual Raider is inbound to board and disable enemy warship. Stand by. Zone, Tigris, Jack is down. I don't care if it's Call of Duty in space. This looks fun. Yeah, it does look fun. Everybody likes to make fun of it because it's Call of Duty in space, but. 1 1 is away. Bridge, get ahead, sir. Rods, let's get there. I don't think I'd be as excited if I didn't think it was VR, though. I think I'd be like, okay. Set down transport inbound. Oh, dude. How do we know who's the bad By getting into this thing, didn't you just draw a bullseye around you? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if you could do that. Oh, man. Zone is clear. Come on. Their blast shields are up. Copy. Tigress, we are exterior of the bridge, preparing to bridge. They chose the wrong team. Yep. Force in, let's go. Staff Sergeant, cover the exit. Ethan, restore life support. Aye, sir. Salt, so scope the windows, I get the CO's card. Alert! This vessel has been compromised. All personnel with bridge response. Hold on, activating gravity. They should have thought to put up the blast door. Tigers action, before. the weapons are down, moving to Xville. Pull out! I think we got their attention! Clear the hold! Coming down the stairs! Second level! It One kinda makes me want to play the last Call of Duty again. Got him! Oh yeah? Guns in the control room! Cause there was some crazy shit going on in that Call of Duty. I don't know, Brokey played it. <laughs> Brokey played it, so Becky wasn't here. Yeah, I forgot. Don't you two have coffee? No, I don't like Brokey. <laughs> you don't like Brokey? Not really. <laughs> you find him crass. Yeah, he's pretty crass. Robot? Oh, it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a direct continuation from the, the last game. Grab hold. Man, this guy's just a one-man wrecking crew. Yeah. Tigress, we need birds. We didn't really wait for confirmation that they were holding. So even though they advertise this as a VR experience, I don't think this one tracks your head. I think this is just... Oh yeah. Because he's not moving like a head. It doesn't move like a head does. Yeah. It's pretty easy to tell the difference in gameplay with these. VR. Well, they didn't say VR. It might not so be then. Not. Confirm not VR. Okay. Ah, thank you. I'm surprised they didn't put in a break that said that we're no longer here. It was still a pretty cool little sequence. Yeah. But I am less interested now that I know it's not VR. <laughs> what is this? Oh. It's that was soap, wasn't it? The guy with the mustache. Modern it's Modern Warfare, Warfare One remastered. Price? Or price, not soap. Soap was the guy, the other guy. Well, that 
that's interesting. They were pretty good campaigns, some of them. Yeah. Were quite a lot of fun. We are leaving! Let's do this. Hmm. And it comes with it. Or at least one of the versions comes with it. Oh, really? Built in. Cuphead announced for PS4. Could you imagine? It's not. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it's his shadow? Trash, guys. It's his shadow, dude. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Walt would be proud. Walt Disney? Like uh, that with a t shirt tonight. The presentation? It was good. <laughs> I'm proud to announce tonight. that we work with our partners at Activision. We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. From the ground up. How about a new game, though? Crash Bandicoot will also yeah. appear first, though. Uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. So let's have a look at that. Sounds like it just remasters though, guys. Not a new game, unfortunately. But this Are could be a stepping okay stone. I'm sure everybody's excited to play a new version of those games and maybe we'll play it for the first just, time, just really. Just remaster all the games. I remember Dustin played Crash. We had it, but I just didn't play it. So this is in Skylanders, or is this the remaster? This is in Skylanders. Okay. This is clearly a stepping stone, though. If they're bringing him back, then yeah. he may have a new game soon. You get to create your very own Skylander now? Apparently. Dick Skylanders galore. How, how do they do this? No idea. No, you make them out of pieces. Uh, mm. They made it look like you just draw it. probably still make a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for... That was quick. I see your eyes. I think it's incredible they didn't the show that stage you until now. Not behind yeah. you. The fact that it lights up like that. That's a real wow yeah. factor. The droid will pay for him. Actually, the droids are not for sale. Come on! <laughs> Alright, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Stole a freighter. The two were accompanied by a girl. What girl? <laughs> Show him. This droid has to get to the resistance base as soon as possible. Let's carry him out to Luke Skywalker. Are you excited to see it on the projector? Yeah, actually. I got a bad feeling about this. Still the worst part of the movie. <laughs> they put on their 3D goggles to watch. So much about. I'm in charge now. It's about time you showed up. Give it everything you got. You are free. But you will never be as strong as Darth Vader. Done yet. You might need this. Kids who play these games will watch one Leslie Nielsen movie and think he stole all the jokes. <laughs> well, it looks like an epic. I'm a little Legoed out though. Yeah, they still like make solid trailers and it looks solid, solid games. It looks like they're making solid games. It's just a little bit much. What? It's. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Was 
Holy did, shit. Did this have even on a window that it was coming or Please welcome Maybe to that the wasn't stage, that crazy. Andrew House. The demo is out. Demo now. Holy shit. Andrew House comes out to some pretty epic music. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. That made my hands feel uh, it's an ten honor times to be that here day. At E3. <laughs> Our mission is to make PlayStation the best place to play for gamers. <laughs> you guys are and horrible. I think you'll agree that this you make E3 me ashamed of my actions one of the indeed. strongest <laughs> lineups of content in PlayStation history. That's a result of our commitment to partnerships <laughs> with the most talented developers and storytellers in our medium. And as proof of that commitment, please join me in welcoming one of the most creative talents in the history of gaming. He learned it from you, Dad. <laughs> <clears throat> so we've had a couple trailers that were like... <laughs> Why are they playing Mad Max music for him to come out? I don't know. Why is Kojima coming out? To Mad Max music. <laughs> Was it just because they just decided? Because they own? Because Sony owns the Mad Max music? They'd do it? Maybe. Because, because he, he loves, loves Mad, Mad Max? Max? So you just... just Because you got me thinking there was a Mad Max game coming. <laughs> I know one came out, Hello. but I want to see another Hello, one that was back. better, <laughs> you know? I'm back! He's back. <laughs> That's a pretty good intro, though. Yeah. Today, I bring something new uh, we, move, we, we made for you, and this is all uh, learning in real time. Please enjoy! Here we go. Something from his studio. Yeah, we actually get to see gameplay. Or probably not gameplay, it's CG. It's definitely the bassiest concert, eh? Yeah. I mean concert. He said right. this is running in real time, that's true. Exclusive, it looks like, because it's Sony Interactive, so Kojima now is back in bed with Sony again. Huh? That may have been known, but I haven't been keeping up with the Kojima, Kojima news. What engine is this using? Because he had to abandon his Fox engine, right? Because that belongs to Konami. <laughs> Norman Reedus. He loves his Reedus. What's this music? Yeah, it's good. I feel like I recognize it. Okay, it's Serility. Oh. Uh. oh shit, dude. Uh. As a pregnant male, I hate it when I'm C-sectioned on a beach. And that butcher life? Shit. Sticking with the whale theme. I guess Konami can't own the whales. <laughs> In. A new 
WIP. Death Stranding. Well, you got your Twitter, Twitter trended thing now. There's about to be thousands upon thousands of people who are confused as to why Death Stranding is twi trending. Yeah. Why is Norman Reed is trending? I thought The Walking Dead was next week. <laughs> So if, uh, people see me and that think they're safer. Weird. <laughs> yeah. But it's not really I'm me interested. they're seeing. It can't be Silent Hills, guys. Silent Hill doesn't Probably belong to him. Best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. Oh, is Spider-Man? Superman? Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I mean. <laughs> a new Spider-Man so game. This has been a while. Company. Did you guys see Insomniac. a logo? Insomniac. Huh. What the fuck, Sony? So will they be using what they did with, uh... Maybe they, they're gonna use what they learned from Sunset Overdrive? Maybe. Sunset Overdrive, the Spider-Man game? Yeah, I hope the swinging is good too. Spider-Man PS4 kind of insinuating an, exclu an exclusive, but without saying. I have confidence based on Sunset Overdrive that they can make this. Sony has won like seven times I over know. now. It's this so condensed ridiculous. too. There's yeah. been no like... Even Kojima was only given like two yeah. lines and they're like, all right, get the oh. fuck out. <laughs> we have more shit to cover. Uh. Everyone, sometime in your life, should have the ability to walk on with an orchestra. It's the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> Let me tell you, thank you guys so much. Uh. <laughs> Where's the 20 minutes of Tim, peep? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Pele. We are on the verge <laughs> on the sousaphone. of a future unlike any other. Thanks With to the dedication Gerillo, and the passion in the of the greatest gaming community of all time. On the oboe. <laughs> we, we are committed to delivering the future technologies and experiences to over. that will Followed continue to evolve. <laughs> <laughs> or Blink-182. We it thank you, our partners, our allies, our friends, for going along with us on this journey. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I want to be at that the, guy one day that gets acknowledged by the guy on stage. At the core of interactive entertainment, is the concept, it's just the conductor. Play, right? <laughs> Unless we love to talk about stories and visuals and emotions and graphics and technology, it all comes together in the brilliance of gameplay. So before I leave, it is my distinct pleasure to share a live demo with all of you of a title we introduced earlier tonight, but we'll see it played live. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Days Gone. Okay. Day, day, uh, Days Gone was the emotional one. Yeah. The one with the guy on the bike. He's headed to the old sawmill. Going in after him. It's gotta be dark soon. When does that ever stop me? Down. Seems about on par with Uncharted 4's graphics. Maybe slightly better, it's hard to tell right, though. Two dog, where the hell are you? I'm so happy we're in a generation with high quality shadows now. Mm, they used to yeah, bug the fuck dude. out of me when they were jaggy. I know it. There's that dog. It's got a un um uh Last of a feel, doesn't it? Someone in the chat was saying that the first time they showed it. Go on. Do you think they're gonna end this yeah, with yeah. saying that it takes place in the Last of Us atmosphere? Or Maybe. like, do you think we're about to see a fungus monster? What are they called? 
we'll all know the moment that that It's possible they're being cheeky and that's why they didn't, they introduced a new studio or whatever, but it's not actually. Yeah. Or wait, it wasn't a new studio. What did they? No, wasn't it? Oh, that? no, it wasn't. You guys were saying it was the people who had made Splinter Cell. Clickers. That's what those things are called. Thank you. So he just turned his gun into a sign. This feels like Last of Us, the way that he just did that to his gun. And it's almost like they're specifically keeping icons out of the shot so you won't know. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, that's not that's a- That's a different That's baddie. a normal type zombie. That's not the kind of zombie we saw in The Last of Us. Which I know you guys think isn't a zombie, but it so is. Son of bitches! They just put kids in. I can't remember a game where kids attack and you have to shoot them. Even if they are zombies. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a kid. It's just that like was a so little... Kid. Look around, brother! You know how this is gonna end. Why are we fighting? How did he sneak up on you on a fucking sheet metal roof? <laughs> the fuck? This is definitely on par with Last of Us type experience. All right, so we have definitely seen zombies now. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, this is high caliber zombie though. Holy, Holy fuck. fuck. Oh my God, dude. So I may be zombie fatigue, but that looks insane. Yeah. Lots of fast zombies, but high graphic zombies. Like, we've seen lots of fast zombies in the form of Left 4 Dead, but they yeah. were low. Red Barrel! This is insane looking! Holy shit! They're all on fire. This is very different from Last of Us in terms of in a game in Last of Us where you're conserving and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but he's just shooting in the middle of them, like that's gonna do a difference. You need oh, but no. a zombie processing machine, dude. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, like you need a meat grinder. You need to make zombie sausage. Yeah. I need get up here. Oh, we're just... Here we end go. it, end it. <laughs> There's no way we can win this. I'm so done. Dude, <laughs> you're not getting anything accomplished. You're shooting a wall. At least you're proving it's real gameplay. <laughs> It's real game, they're proving it. Like they're showing his thumbs the entire time. You can see yeah, every little yeah. thumb waggle. Even the wiggles. I'm sure somebody will audit that to see that he was definitely controlling it. So they're getting away with how many there are. There are little, lots of repetition in their faces, I saw it. Oh yeah. But they're all wearing different things. Come on, come Jesus! On. <laughs> Imagine playing this to the orchestra. <laughs> right, yeah, oh. that would be amazing. Come on, come on! You're killing me, Sony. Yeah, dude, you're killing me. Me too, you're killing. I'll switch it to high, maybe that'll help. <laughs> you need to refresh your Twitch? How did, why? 
And how do you know that? The Twitch chat is all saying GG. God damn it, I wanted to see the end of that! Well, I guess we'll all be surprised when, you know what, yeah. I won't watch the end, and if there was a surprise ending, it'll be a part of our show and trailer. What the fuck is that? They're still showing new things in the montage. Did I pause it? No, I didn't touch a thing. No. <laughs> when I was reaching over, I was turning up the volume. I did not do a thing, it was Twitch's fault. <laughs> this was insane. Yeah, dude, holy This fuck. was Balls. insanely good. This may have been one of the better conferences ever. ever. If you take away, it's hard to beat. Sony beating Microsoft that year with the big fuck you, but yeah. if you don't consider that in the running, this was the best conference I've ever seen. Games, 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 games. It had no filler. No fucking talking. Just like, the only talking was, those are some awesome games. And by the way, we have some more. Yeah. Enjoy. In development. Days gone, in development, Horizon Zero, February 28th. So this is a summary, in development. So a lot of these we might not see for a while. Yeah. These seem to be a lot of like, we'll tell you when. So no hard dates really, except for a couple. Which is kind of surprising because usually they do release within 18 months. Wow. My God. <sighs> Sony, like, this is the biggest gap I've ever seen between conferences. Right? This is like, yes. you could combine all the other companies and if maybe, if you took every other company so far and edited them all down to just the best, you might match Sony. Yep. That's fucked up. That's insane. I'm glad oh. that we ended with it. Could you Me imagine opening too. with that no. and then having all the other ones? No. I'd just be like, I want, I want E3 to be over now. Yeah. Holy shit. I can't even feel like... I can't even remember everything that I know, happened. I know. The Last Guardian has a date, which is awesome. And we saw there's another kitty. My biggest takeaway, and because it was a game they've already shown before, they kept that short. Yeah. It was like, I was a little bit worried when they showed it. I was like, I don't want to see too much of this. I know what Last Guardian footage looks like. Like, I don't want to see this for the next yeah. 10 minutes. And they kept it short. I love that um, Horizon Zero Dawn they like expanded on it. It wasn't the same stuff that they showed at yep. other conferences. We got to see so much more with this mm -hmm. conference. It was fresh. It felt really interesting. The Detroit Detective game? <laughs> yeah, and they made the great choice to not let David Cage come yeah. out. <laughs> oh Just, my God. I'm gonna do my best. I know that David Cage like ruined my experience with Beyond Two Souls. Just, I always kept on bringing him up because all I could picture was him speaking through every character. It is not being written by David Cage. Oh really? But is it being directed? Anyways, my point is, uh, with Beyond Two Souls, I got so obsessed with him that all I could picture was him speaking through every character. I'm gonna just go cold turkey on David Cage if he starts talking about this game at any point. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, but the biggest takeaway for me from this whole thing was Resident Evil, not because Re Resident Evil's coming back. I've always enjoyed, like way back in the day, I enjoyed the early games but I'm not like hugely dedicated to Resident Evil. What really impressed me out of it was, as I said many times, the VR and how it looked. How? Right. How, when every other company, even games that are supposed to run on PC, who could technically show us demos of the greatest graphics because they could be like, yeah, it was on PC with 10, like 1080Xs all working together. Yeah. When we have not seen stuff like that, I feel like from any PC, virtual reality dev, let alone on a console. So how could they, how? I wanna know. The, yeah. Sony, I don't think I have, 
has any kind of track record in the last, in the modern era, in the last, like, this generation of lying to us. I haven't seen Sony called out for fucking with us at any point. Yeah, can you guys think of any? I don't have a very good memory. The only thing I've been like able that, to call them so. out on is uh, the way that Nathan Drake looked on that beach the first time they showed him. I knew that he would only, and they were actually kind of pensive. They were like, that's not gameplay, that's just in the engine, and it doesn't mean that's how the game will look. They were right. actually quite liberal with saying that. Yeah. But the game ended up looking like that, but only during the scenes where they zoom in on the guys. Yeah. So that's acceptable. But that's like the only thing I could by a stretch be like, they tried to hype the graphics when they weren't the complete, exact finished product. So I tend to, my, that's a long way of saying, I tend to believe what I'm seeing. Yeah. I don't feel so bad about pre-ordering PSVR now. Good, that's awesome. Um, are we gonna play the Resident Evil demo? Yeah, I guess we have to go get it right now. I guess we have the post show with Resident Evil. Uh, what was the name of that last game? It was... Down... You can't find it yet? I don't want to stay up too late, but um... Days Gone, thank you. Days Gone. Days Gone. Where's that last one? And then fucking Arkham VR. Yeah, I'll play through the whole game again if it's VR. Do you think it'll be a compartmentalized experience, or do you think they've retooled the game to play with VR somehow through the whole game? I don't know. I have no idea what to expect from that. Grand Theft Auto can do it. Why can't Arkham? Instead of playing third person, you yeah. play the entire game VR. We don't know if it's the same game or something new. It, it could be something different. They didn't say. Batman Arkham VR. That's all. They didn't say. It could be like a side story within that time, like, you know, within the events of Arkham or... It, it's, it is hard to picture Arkham without puking. They would have to really change everything, wouldn't they? Yeah, it's hard to imagine them just like shoehorning VR into Arkham games. Death Stranding looks very... That's... Intriguing? I'll reserve judgment until yeah. I see what the game is like, yeah, for sure. Totally. Who knows what like, it's going to be. Like, I need to kind of know what genre it is and if, what this gameplay is like, basically. It looks weird, which is very Kojima. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. But there's not much to judge there. All the, I think yeah. the big news coming out of that is Sony has just shown, you know that Kojima guy that you all love so much that has uh, that left Konami and you were wondering what his future would be? Well, it's with us, by the way. And it's exclusive to us. And why don't you think it's Silent Hill? Because Konami owns Silent Hill. Why do you guys think that Kojima owns Silent Hill? He doesn't own it. Okay. Konami's not giving that to him. They hate him. <laughs> oh, the Crash remaster. Of course, Crash. Crash being remastered is a big it's deal, especially cool. because it typically means that, um, it means that that's a stepping stone probably to a new game maybe in the future. Yeah. You guys have known for a while about Kojima's partnership with Sony, but did you know that it meant he was making ex like an exclusive, like what, what did partnership mean? It doesn't matter. I was excited because I didn't know, so. Yeah. And whether you knew or not, the fact that I didn't know means that the general public didn't, a lot of them didn't know either because I do a video game show and even though I don't read video game press, you'd think that I would have caught wind of it at some point. Yeah. But my point is it's not common knowledge. Unless Amazon is running a poll on Twitter today, best conference. So yeah, we didn't get um, Red Dead Redemption 2. We didn't, yeah, we get, didn't get Last Redemption. of Us 2. Um, we got our God of War. Yeah. We got God of War and it's a completely different game and that was like, that floored me. I was yeah. not expecting it to be it. Cause it's so, so every time like predi in our predictions leading up to Sony, they kept on saying God of War 4 and I was like, you might've seen, I wasn't like complete. I was like, oh yeah, that might happen. Like I wasn't super, ex even though I love the God of War games, I wasn't super excited for a new, another God of War. Yeah. So it was like, okay, yeah, it'll be another God of War. That's clearly something different. Yeah. Completely different. Um, 
So now you have to wonder, wh like, what if, since Red Dead, could you imagine if they ended with Red Dead? That would have just, that would have made it the best conference ever, of yeah. all time, ever, and probably into the future. Yeah. To end with that. But the fact that 2K has yet to be on anybody's sa stage showing anything, and yet they've been teasing that this is going to be a big E3 and they have some really big things in store. Where? At what time will we find out about those? Yeah, I wonder how they're planning on doing it because technically the show floor doesn't open until tomorrow. And something that debuts on the show floor would be very hard to keep under wraps since yeah. there'd be You're like hundreds up. of people seeing it right now and yeah. all through the weekend as people set up. Um, and then uh, WB, I'm sure they're, the, if they, I don't know if they're there, but if they were, they would surely be representing more than just a VR game on PlayStation. Yeah. I think one bad emu is actually at E3. It should be interesting to see I wonder what, if she was at that. What, is, what is on the show floor tomorrow. Yeah. What all the news starts getting tweeted at, like what, what everybody's doing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Tyra says the kid was not likable in, in God of War. He looks like a little wiener, but I think that's the point. They were comparing him to Duck. Yeah, he's a bit duckish, isn't he? <laughs> but I think that's the point. It's like Kratos like... Yeah. No son of mine is gonna be a bard. <laughs> Kill that deer. <laughs> Sony convinced me to keep my PSVR pre-order. But father, I want to be a dancer. <laughs> I don't want to know about Nintendo rumors. I don't want to know. It would anything. be so nice to have um, a surprise. Yeah, the kid's totally gonna die. But his family, what is like Kratos Again. have a place on his butt that he needs more ash for, so he had a oh, new yeah. kid to die. <laughs> yeah, he does. I have a bare spot here. I need you to. <laughs> you gotta um, kick it, kid. I wish I had a PSVR pre-order, but I missed the boat. So I hope I can, I don't know, I hope that they become plentiful by release date. Yeah. Because I don't want to be left out. Or that was the other thing I was thinking, Kratos will die and the kid will be the new main character. Nah, I want to play as bearded Kratos. Maybe he'll become, maybe he'll use Kratos ashes on no. himself. No, I want to be bearded Kratos fighting. Oh, okay. I don't want to be wiener epic. kid. Um... <sighs> the Resident <sighs> Evil 7 demo is now up. Alright, I guess that's the end of this segment and we'll come back with a PlayStation demo of Resident Evil 4. Which wasn't expected. What? Weren't expecting that. We'll be right back in a little bit Shit. after it's downloaded, I suppose. Happy Thanks, E3, guys. everybody, and thank you, Sony, for not for making my Christmas a yeah. Christmas again. <laughs>